Alright, so we are now ready to put this chopper back together. We've got our new parts all here. We're going to start assembling that. They've got this combine all suited up with some new hoses. Oh, uh, what'd you do? Put six on it, Jay? Yeah, six hoses. Jay put six hoses on and we put one. So we had the steering hose blow and we got the combine out. Then a couple of these drive motor, wheel motor hoses were bad on it. They had some bad spots in them. So as we got tearing it apart, he seen some wire sticking out of some of the other hoses. So he's got them all replaced. They lasted for 20 years. So being that they lasted 20 years, these are gonna last another 20. Or more because they're not gonna rub now. Yeah, more. not gonna rub. So they've got protection on all the hoses where they come through. So laid some lay flat in there. Now they're adding some oil. We've got a do a little wash in here. We got some oil spilled from when I overfilled it here uh, yesterday. So we've got this right side in there. All new bearings, new cam followers, new track. Got it hanging from a strap. And then what we'll do is we will put the center bearing on and then we can bring in the right, the left side into that center bearing. Hang it from a strap on this side. Then we can kind of put the cam follower track on there kind of all at the same time. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get the cam followers to go in the track. The first time I was able to put it on alone, but when I got looking at it, I wasn't timed correctly. So we got that on there. Now we just do the other side here.
all right so we have this right side in there and we've got our center bearing uh mounted now if you recall the reason why we quit using this head is the center bearing was gone now this center bearing is only about that wide and half of this shaft comes into it or this shaft shares half of the bearing and then this other shaft will share the other half now somebody commented that hey there's a grease circ that's supposed to be in there i said well i've never seen one in there before i said well maybe i maybe i neglected it i don't know i didn't know if this bracket was going to be bad or not so i ordered everything new along you know with the bearing and the the dust cover for the for the front on each side and the bolts and whatever now we have this old bearing old, old bearing holder on the bench here which i could probably have used this again but this one i even had to grind it off because i didn't know if maybe the grease circuit broke off in there or not well there's nothing there's nothing there so the older style bracket does not have the grease circ in it so um this bearing has a little tiny hole in it you match that up to where the grease circ is at and that'll be a once per cutting type uh service unit style whatever so now what we're going to do is we're going to bring this shaft over we're going to put that onto there and then we can hang it from the left side and then put our um cam follower track on there so let's go ahead and set that on strap it up and then we can put everything on uh the outside so it's slowly taking shape here and um yeah
All right, so we've got all new parts here. Everything's been replaced. We went ahead and put all brand new teeth on, new bolts, new nuts, the whole nine yards. We've got new cam follower tracks on each end. Yeah, everything's brand new. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to put our ends on and then we're gonna start putting the stripper plates on. On that new head, we've, well, the one head that we used, they had, they had nylon pieces that went in between the stripper plates. We're gonna add those to this head. I've got all of the fasteners removed from the top of the head here. So we'll get our ends buttoned up and then we'll start putting the stripper plates on. I've got all the old ones there. I've got nine, I think I got nine new ones that we're gonna put on and save nine of the old ones. They're getting thin. And then we've got our new plastic pieces here. These were like four or five bucks a piece. I don't know if I've got enough to do just this head or if I've got enough to do both heads, but we'll get this one buttoned up. If you recall, this one's got the grease circ in it. The old one does not. So we'll go ahead and uh, get this buttoned up. All right, so we have this head completely done. And we're gonna put this in the field here in a couple days, right on second cutting. So I ended up getting nine new stripper plates. And the rest of them are used, or you know, they're the ones that came off. I had a few of them that were wore. One I had to throw out. The other eight I just put on a shelf uh, upstairs. Now this center one, being that we've got a center greasable bearing, I drilled a hole in the center stripper plate so that we can get in there and grease that. I was talking to the mechanic from Chaos here, Jake, the other day, and I said, hey, this, this one's got a grease circ on it. My other one didn't. Am I wrong? <laughs> he says, no, they didn't have the grease circ on there. They had it on the early ones. They felt that it was getting greased too much and causing problems. So they put a non-greasable bearing in there. Now they're back to using a greasable bearing, so I don't know what is right or wrong there. But we went ahead and added these nylon ramps here that go in on top of the stripper plate. They're gonna protect the bolt. And I have enough to put on the new head as well. So we're gonna use this head and we're gonna save the new head. Um, this is all completely rebuilt. I'd like to get some of my money's worth out of the rebuild that we have put into this head. And in the event that we get another chopper someday, I don't want to have that other head all wore out. I wanted to get this head rebuilt because it wouldn't do us any good to have this head for a spare if it was not usable. So at least now we have two heads. This is working. It's not gonna wait till winter time uh, to be rebuilt. It got rebuilt now. So that is gonna do it for uh, this video. I wanna thank everybody for watching and we will catch you at the next video.